guys, it's your boy. Uh, today we're gonna go over Makoto's kit and probably Akko and stuff. Maybe separate video. I don't know. I'll, I'll decide. I'll decide as I go on. Um, let's see. Makoto, Gehina school obviously. Attacker backline. Okay. Oh, backline special. Uh, combat class special. Armor special. Damage penetration. Yes, we know all this. Oh, she's a bag. Um, affinities are kind of normal, I guess. Yeah, they're normal. Um, anything else interesting? She uses a glove and watch. Okay. Attack is, yep, pretty high for us. It's, it's kind of high for sniper. Yeah, that's around. It's around normal. The firing range doesn't matter because she's backline. She only has one ammo. That's actually funny. Uh, that's kind of don't matter too much. Anything big here? At max out, nothing that interesting. Okay, skill one. Mistake. Deals damage to an enemy depending on number of enemies in the circle. Poor list deals this much. Five to nine deals this much. And then ten or more deals the most amount of damage. So she wants multiple, she wants a lot of enemies on the field. Okay. That's actually interesting because usually it's like you do more with less but okay how do i feel about this oh it's a six cost six cost special <clears> hmm <throat> that feels a little expensive huh yeah it feels a bit expensive all right let's see normal skill listen every 55 seconds decrease defense of enemies within the circular range by 8 to 15 percent for 35 seconds that is, it's a 20 second downtime? Well, it's a 55 second, it takes 55 seconds to start in the beginning. And then from there, you have 35 seconds of defense down. So you have 20 seconds of no defense down before it applies again. It doesn't do damage either. Hmm. Also, the defense down's a little low, right? Hmm. Okay, I get. Let's just continue. So standard attack increase. Okay, and then final skill increase penetration efficiency of all allies. It's a oh that's. Is there another penetration character that does this? Um, it's Summer Ui, I believe. But she requires you to cast. Six abilities, or sixty X skills. So this is just a. So this is just like a raw. So th yeah, so it's just a raw EX buff. This is really probably her best skill. It's probably this and her burst or her EX skill. What it? I have Nikkei on my mind. My bad. So hmm, does her UE change anything? Um, just more attack. Just flat attack. Okay. Overall, her kit's kind of weak then, huh? She's like a... What would you use her in? First thing that comes to mind is like, Grand Battle Gregorius. I think that's like her best fight. Oh! Chased. Chased. That's the one. Oh, that's what. Is there 10 mobs in Chased? Uh... There is, but 6 cost is kind of rough in that fight, isn't it? 55 seconds kind of makes sense for the debuff, if that's the case. Because, like, it'll take a while for you to apply the defense. Is it all enemies? It's enemies within a circular area, so it's an AoE defense down. So it could also, like, randomly hit the boss. Okay. Well, since that's... Well, since this is pretty short, let's go over uh, Akko, too, then. Let's see. Dress Akko... She's a striker this time, which is awesome. You finally get the playable Akko that's, that shows up, right? Explosive Special Armor Striker. And then has a boost to outdoors. Her gear, boots, um, boots, hairpin, and watch. She's a support with a watch, which is... I think that's a little... 
bad, right? Because normally you want supports with like... Oh, I, well, we'll see. Maybe she does damage. Okay, so attack. You know, oh. Let's see, at 5 star. Yeah, let's check UE1 and 3 star. 3 star base, she's only 2.5k attack, but then UE1. She gets 3.4k. Evasion's kind of... Oh, pretty decent evasion. Crit rate is okay. I guess that makes... But the, the boots feel awkward then with the crit rate or damage. Fire rate or fire range is about average for pistols. Okay, skill one. For allies in a circular range, increase crit rate by 11 to 19%. It's like 11 to 20 pretty much. And crit damage by 32 to 57%. Additionally, this adds one perfect bodyguard to each ally up to 15 maximum. What does Perfect Bodyguard do, though? Is this just like a random buff that does nothing? Uh, I hope it explains it. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Oh, cost. Five cost. Five cost. AoE crit damage crit rate buff. That's pretty good, right? 30 seconds. Uh, wait, 30 seconds? Oh, that's, that's kind of big, right? That's kind of good. Um, 30 seconds makes it so that you can, it's pretty much like a full rotation, like a full burst, no, full EX rotation. So you, it's normally like, you what, like cast three to four EX skills, and around that time is about 30 seconds before you can do it again. So this is actually a pretty good buff, it's like almost permanent. Which is, or, instead of permanent, it's more like it has really good uptime. As long, as long as you probably... This probably matters, right? The perfect bodyguard. As long as you can hit hit everyone, you would... Ooh, snipers in the team would be kind of awkward then, right? Because then sometimes snipers would be out of range. Well, it depends on how big the range is. But yeah. Alright. Next skill. Don't miss the target. Every 35 seconds, decrease the defense. Oh, the same defense reduction. Of an enemy by 18-24% to 24 for 22 seconds. So this has a 13 second downtime. Which is a lot shorter... And this is a lot better, because this is higher defense reduction. And additionally, it deals damage depending on the number of perfect bodyguards owned. Three or less, you deal 4 to 900. Well, 5 to 900. 4 to 7, you deal 530 to 1010. 1010% damage, right? And then 8 to 11, you deal almost 600% to... 1100% and then 12 or more you deal 640 to 1212 hmm this this skills pro let's see at the beginning if you can cast Akko first you can most likely get four stacks so you're at least doing this much at the beginning right if you can hit four if you can't hit four and you hit three what happens um, let's say you hit 3 at the beginning, and but then you're able to hit 4 after that. You'd be, go from 3 to 7 to 11. Oh, that feels bad, right? That feels awful. So, it really matters how well you cast this ability. You have to be able to land it on... You should try to get it on 4. Even if, like, they don't get the a good damage bonus. Like, even if they don't do damage. Having it applied just for the perfect bodyguard is probably super important. For min-maxing, at least. Okay, this is just an HP increase, and then the last skill is increase attack by 3 to 5%, or almost 6%, for each perfect bodyguard stack. Let's see. Yeah, 15 stacks. That's what, at worst, um, 45% attack, and at best, somewhere between, somewhere around 80%, right? 80% attack, let's say UE1, with like, this damage modifier, so, so she should be at like, uh, somewhere between 5k attack, somewhere around there, how do I feel, about, eh? well the thing is, uh, her, her kit feels all over the place. Because, like, you want 
um, the like necklace for longer buff durations that would be useful. But because of the, because she doesn't have that, she has a watch, gets more crit rate. But then her boots don't give crit; they give health. And then this gives health too instead of crit or any offensive stat, even though she has offensive skills. I mean, given she has 20% base crit with max EX skill and pretty good crit damage, she's probably just like a... If if you had a normal team, she's probably DPS number three. She's probably third in the DPS line, right? Because you would have two... Like, you would have a main DPS, you would have a sub DPS, and then you would have her as the third DPS. Hmm... I feel like this makes her like a torment character. She's not very great for insane. Because insane you just run like you run base aqua, right? You get you run this one. With the uh with the 40% crit rate and the 70 crit damage. On on torment, where you have to use multiple teams, having her is probably very useful. So out of these two. Oh, actually, weapon. I uh, just fly to ten. Uh, actually, this makes it better. This makes it a lot better. So out of both Makoto and Akko, the better character if you're free to play is Akko. Makoto is just a little bit too niche, even though she's. I want her. She's so entertaining. Her EX skill is so funny. But uh, that's all. Bye bye.